Taraji P. Henson has made a name for herself in Hollywood and famously portrays hip hop matriarch Cookie Lion on the series Empire, which is filmed in Chicago. That being said, the actress owns her own place in the Windy City, so she's never too far from work. Aside from her million dollar plus high rise in Chicago a few years back, Taraji picked up a new mansion high above Laurel Canyon in LA to call home to. We'll take a look at a few of her properties, and while her LA home was done in a hush hush off market deal, with some careful digging, I even found the list. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Taraji Penta Henson is an actress who studied acting at Howard University and then began her Hollywood career in guest roles on several TV shows before making a breakthrough in Baby Boy back in 2001. She received praise for performances as a prostitute in Hustle and Flow and as a single mom of a disabled child in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. She's well known for her roles in fun ensemble films as well, like Think Like a Man and its sequel in 2014. Aside from Taraji's work in film, she's had a long and successful career in TV as well, starring in shows like Boston Legal, Eli Stone, Person of Interest, and more. Of course, in 2015, Taraji landed what's possibly her most notable role thus far, starring as Cookie Line in the Fox drama series Empire, where she became the first African American woman to win a Critics' Choice TV Award for Best Actress in a Drama Series. She also won a Golden Globe for this role. In 2016, Taraji was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine, and the same year she also released a New York Times best-selling autobiography. At the time of this recording, Taraji's reported net worth is at about $25 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at where actress Taraji P. Henson calls home, including her current LA spot, her Chicago condo, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. No matter who the owner is, sometimes amazing properties just don't sell right away. Even Taraji had trouble selling her beautiful former home in the Hollywood Hills, first listing it in 2015 for over $3 million, but not selling it until 2018 for the lower price of $2.35 million. This unique home sat high in the hills and had a Moorish design inspired by North Africa and the Iberian Peninsula, with Moroccan inspired accents like fireplaces and chandeliers. Taraji acquired the house in 2010 for almost $1.7 million, so either way she made a buck on the sale. Built just a year before she bought it, the 4,202 square foot home spanned three floors and offered great views of LA. Carved wood double doors under an Arabian arch open up to an entry hall and a cute home theater. There are four beds and five baths throughout the residence, and the main living areas are actually on the second floor. Here, it's an inviting and open space with double height ceilings, a winding wood staircase, and large windows. There's a sitting area right there beside the center island kitchen with 600 bottle wine cellar, and in the next room, a walkout living room with fireplace and bar. The guest rooms are spread throughout the home, one of which is done up as a celeb style dressing room with mirrored wardrobes, light up vanity, walk in shoe closet, and a bathroom with a shampoo bowl. This room is on the top floor where there's also a family room, small office, and Taraji's former master suite. Listing materials describe the master bedroom as a sanctuary and it boasts a fireplace, walk-in closet, luxe ensuite, and French doors out to a balcony with city views. A flat grassy yard outside steps up to another grassy area with built-in seating place and fire pit, overlooking Los Angeles where there's also a hot tub. While there were two garages, apparently one was transformed into a space with pad room and ballet bar with potential to be a full home gym. In 2016, Taraji expanded her real estate empire and bought a $6.4 million villa style home in the Hollywood Hills. Not much was known about the estate at the time of purchase and it's still kept pretty private, but with some digging, I was able to find the listings. This home sits on over 1.3 acres of land atop a high hill above Laurel Canyon, 
with breathtaking 360 views of the city, valley, and ocean. This Spanish house offers 3,188 square feet inside with three beds and four baths. The photos from the listing are outdated and definitely don't do the place justice, but you can get an idea. There are dark hardwood floors, beam ceilings, and what the listing described is a magnificent kitchen. Now, whoever staged the home looked like a bit of a hoarder in some rooms, but my best bet is that Taraji made the place her palace. Her estate is super quiet, which is rare and unlike most properties in the Hollywood Hills. You literally have to travel down a long country lane to get to the gated property, which is further hidden behind hedges. On the property, there's also a private pine forest, so you know it must be sprawling if you have your own woods. From what we know, Taraji's house offers a pool with a waterfall, a cute zen garden, and a meditation deck. Elsewhere, there's a guest house for additional space, and her master suite opens right up to the gorgeous pool out back. Of course, knowing that Taraji films Empire in Chicago, you know that she has to have a spot there as well. While she sold one apartment in a Gold Coast Tower back in 2017 for nearly $1.5 million, she still owns a larger unit in the same building. The one that she let go of was a three bed, 2.5 bath condo on the 38th floor, offering an east facing balcony with views of Lake Michigan and the neon lights of the Navy Pier. It spanned just over 2,000 square feet with refinished hardwood floors throughout and a natural paint scheme. The Windy City apartment also had a wedge shaped living room with fireplace and wall of windows. There's also a large dining room, an open plan kitchen with dark granite counters, and a custom built master bedroom closet. So now we know Taraji has a couple gorgeous places to her name, one in Los Angeles, and one she can be close to work in Chicago. However, she doesn't only spend her fortune on herself, she also gifted her stepmother a beautiful home in 2019. Well, a complete home makeover at least. The actress partnered with the house series to renovate her stepmother's home in Washington, DC. She met her stepmom Angie when she was 16 and says she loved her right away and she made her dad a better man. After a few years together, Taraji's father and Angie bought a home in Maryland, which was where everyone gathered. Sadly, in 2006, Taraji's dad passed away and left Angie with the house, which had fallen into rough shape over the years. Among the many renovations, they knocked down the wall between the kitchen and living room, creating an open concept space for entertaining, redid the entire kitchen with new appliances, and glammed up the dining room. They placed odes to Taraji's father throughout the home within the design, such as in the living room where the designer, Stephanie Gamble centered the space around a coffee table he made from driftwood and showcased his art pieces. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end. We looked at Taraji P. Henson's homes in Los Angeles and what we know about her Chicago condo, as well as her stepmother's house, which she helped to renovate. Aside from her two current properties, Taraji also has a home in Glendale, California, but this one she uses for some extra income and rents it out. After looking at a few of Taraji's homes, which was your fave? I think I actually like the one she sold in the Hollywood Hills best because of its unique yet appealing design. Be sure to like and subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better and we can chat over there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!